Snow can be fun, but it can also be dangerous if you slip and fall on ice. But by using salt, we can melt ice with the magic of science. You're watching SciCode. Ice and water are the same thing, H2O. But one is a liquid and the other is a solid. The molecules are arranged differently. With water, the molecules have some space and they flow around freely. But with ice, the temperature is so low, zero degrees Celsius, that the molecules move less and begin to form bonds. Ice looks like it's solid, but there's actually a thin layer of water at the top, and it exists in a state of equilibrium. As some of the ice melts, it becomes water, and then some of that water becomes ice. Now when salt gets in the mix, it causes some trouble. It dissolves into that layer of water, making it more difficult for the molecules to bond, disrupting the balance between the freezing and melting process. So we're literally throwing salt into ice's game, but salt only works up to negative 17 degrees Celsius. If it's too cold, the water molecules actually push past the ice and still become solid. So if anybody's ever throwing salt in your game, just give them the cold shoulder and you'll be okay. Psycho. To be a scientist, you need to have an open mind, open to suggestion and the test of time. You don't need glasses to be a scientist. You don't need a lab coat to be a scientist. You don't need to be a male to be a scientist. You don't need to be a certain race to be a scientist. The truth is, we're all born scientists. As children, all of us are curious. As